well, wherever you'll be spending a festive few days. You've probably got your Christmas list all sorted by now. But uh, we can almost guarantee that a charity in Hertfordshire has a longer list than yours. Why? Uh, because Electric Umbrella, which puts on musical experiences for people with learning disabilities, is after 1,000 instruments by the 25th. James Waterhouse has been to see how they're getting on. OK, it might not be your usual Christmas carol, but this is a band banging the drum. Not for more members, but instruments. They have donated this stuff here to us who could move on with better ideas and sell them on the market if they can. Electric Umbrella collect unwanted instruments and adapt them for people with learning disabilities. They put on music experiences with some of them and sell others to pay for it. It looks like a banjo to me. It just looks like a banjo. <laughs> it is actually, look what it is. That is a, a very dusty old sitar. The pandemic forced them on Zoom, but they're planning to be back in January. I prefer when we meet face to face because then you get to use the actual instruments we've made and build the instruments, yeah, so... And what's, your, what's been your kind of standout instrument that you've come across and turned it into something totally different and then got to enjoy? Uh, uh I like drum, drums and that. So any more drum hardware we can put in there? Oh, Ali, look at that. Well, 60 kits were donated just this past okay. month. No guesses as to why some parents did that. that but they fun? want more. A thousand instruments by Christmas. We think that we're at 542 sure. uh, instruments, um, and uh, so we're actually quite close. And, yeah. and, and you know, hopefully, this appeal will 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 reach people yeah. and say, look, actually, your instruments are worth more than money. They're worth way more than money because actually, what they're worth is our time and our togetherness. Which Tom says isn't available through normal services for those with learning disabilities. There you go, Billy. He hopes this Christmas push will help change that. James Waterhouse, BBC London, in Tring.